Hi, my name is Dr. Amir. You may have heard about the recent outbreak of the new coronavirus in China, which is called 2019 NCOV. It is somehow related to the SARS coronavirus in 2003. Coronavirus is a group of different viruses, mainly affects animals. But in humans, coronavirus can cause the common cold, which is often very mild. So I wanted to shed some light and facts about this subject, especially on how to prevent it. In rare cases, the coronavirus can change to a new strain, like what has happened recently in China. So the new coronavirus can cause severe flu-like illness in humans, including pneumonia, which can be deadly. The first 40 confirmed cases in China had been exposed to a seafood and live animal market, but now it can be transmitted from human to human. Most of the times, the symptoms are similar to influenza, with the presence of fever, fatigue, body aches, and dry cough. But when the virus affects the lungs, causing pneumonia in both sides, then the patients might complain of shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, with low oxygen in the blood. In severe cases, this condition is called Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, ARDS. It is caused by infection and leaking fluids inside the lungs. It is a serious and sometimes is a deadly condition which require admission to the intensive care unit and being placed on a ventilator to help improve the oxygen level in the blood. Having said that, not every infection with this virus will lead to this serious complication. But maybe certain population, like elderly people or patients with a chronic medical problem or even patients with compromised immunity might be at a higher risk. To confirm the diagnosis, we collect some fluid or secretions from the nose or the phlegm to do a special test called PCR to identify the virus. The chest X-ray might reveal infection and fluid in both lungs. Also, the blood count might show a low white blood cells. Currently, there is no known treatment available for this condition. But we can give medications to treat the high fever with paracetamol and ibuprofen. Also drinking fluids and resting at home are important. As you know, we don't treat virus infection with antibiotics. And the antivirus medicine, which we use sometimes to help reduce the symptoms of severe influenza, does not affect the coronavirus. Unfortunately, there is no vaccine available for coronavirus yet. Even the available influenza vaccine will not help to prevent spreading the coronavirus. Hopefully, there will be a new vaccine very soon. Finally, my advice is not to panic. Not everyone will catch the virus. And even if they do, not everybody will necessarily get the serious pneumonia complication. According to a recent report from the World Health Organization, released on January 26, 2020, stating that from the, all the confirmed cases, only 15% became severely ill and less than 3% have died. So the best way to combat this risk is to prevent spreading the virus by following these measures. First, avoid contact with stray animals. Also avoid people with fever and flu symptoms. Second, cover the mouth and nose with a tissue when coughing or sneezing, and always clean hands by washing them with soap or sanitizer. But if you have a fever, wear a protective mask and seek medical help and avoid contact with others. Also avoid traveling while having symptoms. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. To stay up to date with my latest videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.